Welcome to Adobe Premiere 5, the powerful non-linear editing program that lets you create high-quality video projects for broadcast, film, CD-ROM, or the World Wide Web. Adobe has redesigned Premiere to meet the requirements of the most demanding video editing professionals. Adobe Premiere integrates smoothly with the Adobe family of products and now includes many of the same menus, palettes, and keyboard shortcuts found in Photoshop, After Effects, and Illustrator. Let's take a look at a few of these new features. The project window lets you choose how you want to list your video, animation, and still image files. Each clip appears once in the project window, no matter how many times you use it in your video program. The timeline includes a new way to order tracks. New video tracks are added on top of existing video tracks, reflecting the order in which they'll be combined in the final movie. You can collapse or expand tracks by simply clicking the arrow next to the track name. Click the eye icon if you want to suppress the track so that it won't be included in the movie. Another way to make your work area less cluttered is with the Shy Track feature. A Shy Track can be hidden in the timeline while still appearing in the movie. The new Monitor window lets you view and edit clips in the Source and Program views. Controllers appear beneath each view. Included are buttons for playback, editing, and navigation. The Source view lets you edit individual clips. The Program view plays the contents of the timeline. Powerful new titling lets you work more creatively to develop titles for your projects. You can resize or apply a font, color, or other attribute to individual characters, words, or rows of text. Title effects include roles, which move on-screen vertically, and crawls, which move horizontally. Now it's easy to make rolling credits for your movie. Like other Adobe software, Premiere now presents the transitions, commands, and info windows as tabbed palettes. One new palette, called the Navigator, is ideal for locating clips in a long format or complex project. For more information on these and other new features, be sure to review your user guide and online help system. Now let's go through the steps basic to creating a project in Adobe Premiere. To do these yourself, see Chapter 1 of the User Guide. First, import video, images, and sounds into your project. To rough out a sequence quickly, drag clips from the project window into tracks in the timeline window. You can view clips, trim them, and preview your work in the monitor window. Just double-click on the desired clip to see it in the source view of the monitor window. Next, set an out point for this clip. Then apply the edit to the clip in the timeline. You can also trim a clip before you place it in the timeline. By dragging it to the monitor window and setting in and out points. Premiere features a large selection of transitions which let you change from one clip to another with interesting visual effects. To create a transition between clips, you can drag a clip to the B track, overlapping the clip in the A track by the desired length of the transition. Then drag a transition from the transition palette to the transition track. Adobe Premiere adjusts the length of the effect for each transition. Premiere supports plug-in filters, including those compatible with Photoshop, and provides a wide variety of choices. You can choose filters for color correction, blurring, distortion, and more. Not only can you apply multiple filters to the same clip, you can also vary the effects over time. 
The motion command lets you move a clip through the frame. You set a path for the clip to follow and can even rotate, zoom, adjust its speed, or distort it at any point in the path. Once you've completed your video project, you can record it on videotape or export it for CD-ROM and the web. As you explore different editing techniques, transitions, filters, and effects, you'll discover the unlimited possibilities of Adobe Premiere for creating sophisticated and professional movies.